though I could put any sloth to shame with the amount of time that I could spend lazing and just relaxing on a couch and doing nothing, at times I think it is nice to plan the time that you have off because you can enjoy it. You can do all the things that you always say you'll do, but you never end up doing. What's up guys? I am so happy and excited because it's mid-December. It is my favorite time of year. It's time when I get to like use kitschy things like this. How cute is this guy? He's so cute. Little nose. Everything feels so special this time of year because first of all, the weather is amazing. It is cold and crisp and it, you know, there's the promise of rain. I'm obsessed with the rain. So this is like the best time of year for me. You're gonna get wet, boo. It's cold. It's just a lovely time of year. One of the many awesome things about working for yourself is that you truly have the power to say, I'm gonna stop working, I'm gonna take a break, the time that I've spent working hard on things, I'm going to reflect on it and take a break and do nothing. So today, I thought that I would share with you guys what I'm reading, what I'm listening to, what is inspiring me right now. This, this is Chloe, say hi Coco. Let's begin. I think I'm gonna start with Kinfolk Home Book. This was a book that was gifted to me by a very dear friend, Eric, on my 30th birthday. And I love when people inscribe things. This one says, happy birthday, guy. I hope this book will give you inspiration. Best wishes, Eric. Yes, it has. It is constantly inspiring and it's got these really stunning sort of vignettes in it. This is definitely a gem. It also makes for a lovely Christmas present. Um, so if you're like me, last minute Christmas shopping. This one, gem. Chloe, Papu, this is not real. This is a fake flower, here. I'm gonna show you one more book. It is more of a coffee table book, but I have loved it. This is called Places to Go, People to See, Kate Spade's book. It has actually some really cool trivia that when I read it, I was like, hey, this is kind of like, ooh. For instance, moments in hotel history. So I'm gonna read you some of the gems. This one's good. Marilyn Monroe always ordered the following for breakfast. Two raw eggs whipped into a glass of warm milk. That sounds disgusting, but it's kind of cool to know that. I don't know. Hello, my name is Herbert. Okay. Nothing makes me feel more relaxed and, you know, like I'm really truly luxuriating than discovering a new piece of music. A new artist, a new song, or an old artist, but a song that I've never heard of theirs. So I wanted to share with you a few gems. First song. It just makes me feel so melodic. It's a song that I discovered from the Gilmore Girls revival on Netflix. Gilmore Girls fan! Honorary Gilmore Girl. It's a song called Here You Come Again by the unparalleled Dolly Parton. Here you come again Just when I've begun to get myself together And here I go Oh my god, that song is gold. The most powerful and beautiful thing about music is that it can truly transport you anywhere in time. Music, it's just what makes the world go round. I'd like to stay in love with you. Here comes Paul Simon. Still crazy after all these years. This is one of the best records of all time. I met my old lover on the street last night. And how can we do Christmas without a little Nina Simone? My baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. If there was a competition for the most voracious appetite for watching television, or even just sitting in front of a television, I would win so hard. I, I love TV shows, I will watch anything, and I truly mean anything. I have actually passed on my illness to a bunch of my close friends and family who now watch trashy shows they never thought they would. This I consider to be one of my uh, true achievements in life because I have brought joy to their lives, whether or not they like to admit it. I thought I'll share with you some of the things I'm watching. I have recently jumped on the Crown bandwagon. Phenomenal writing. Winston still thinks he's the father of the nation. Another film that I randomly discovered, Barefoot in the Park, 
It was based on a Neil Simon play. It's got Robert Redford and Jane Fonda. I'm beginning to wonder if you're capable of having a good time. Why, because I like to wear my gloves in winter? A film that I will watch over and over and over again, a Hindi film called Padosan. And it's one of those things where you can think about a scene and start laughing. There we are, yo. I think there are a lot of versions online with subtitles if you don't speak Hindi. Padosan is one of the best musical films of all time. <laughs> Two main characters um, have a song off. <laughs> and it's just so hilarious. We'll return after these messages. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. Next year all our troubles will be miles away. And before I say my goodbyes, I just want to tell you that next week's vlog is going to be releasing on Thursday instead of Tuesday because I wanted to show you guys what Christmas is like um, every year. All the gifts that are going to be opened, all the food that's going to be hogged. So I need a little extra time to put all that together. I hope you'll bear with me. Not only is it going to be a Christmas bonanza, but it's also going to be a look back on some of the highlights of the year and also some very exciting announcements about next year. Things that I've been working on that I'm so excited to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and have a oh, Merry